Welcome in folks to another Fallout 76 video and in today's video we're going to be checking out a build that a lot of you low health bloody players will find very useful and rewarding to work towards during your journeys across Appalachia and beyond. That's right, we're going to be checking out my bloodied heavy gunner build, or what I like to call it, the Titan Killer. But before we head on over and check out the build, and if you're new to the channel, consider clicking that subscribe button so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. And if you like today's video, make sure to give it a like so that more people in the Fallout community can see this. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So if you haven't seen already, I posted a video last week which you can find here at the top right hand corner of the screen, showcasing my solo run against the new world boss introduced with the Nuka World on Tour update, the Ultraside Titan, and also the footage you're actually currently seeing here on screen. The main points I wanted to emphasize with that video was the ability to show that firstly it is possible to solo the new world boss, but also to showcase the tankiness and power of this build. For example, Seismic Activity, if you haven't had the chance to take part in this event yet, is structured in a way that has you fighting against waves of enemies defending the world boss, and with each wave the enemies spawn more frequently and also they get more difficult. Now don't get me wrong, mole rats and mole miners are nothing to break a sweat over, as they're very easy to take down. However, you only have a couple of minutes between each wave to deplete the Titan's health, while also dealing with a ton of incoming melee, energy and also ballistic damage from the enemies trying to defend the Titan. So to summarize, a lot to manage all at once while trying to kill this overgrown mole rat. So as promised from last week's video, let's take a look at the build and get straight into the good stuff. So starting off with your special stats, these will mainly be the special points you want to allocate, as will mainly be going for a low health bloodied heavy gunner build. So if you want to pause the video here, you can go ahead and do so. And for the perk cards, if you'd like to pause the video here so you can get an overview of the entire build, you can go ahead and do so. But the main cards you want to focus on is max rank of all of the heavy gunner perk cards, along with max rank of blockers, so you take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Max rank of glow sight, so you now deal an additional 60% damage to glowing enemies. Max rank of grenadier, so your explosives detonate with twice the radius. Max rank of chem resistance, so you gain complete immunity to chems, as we'll be taking psychotats with this build. Max rank of fireproof, so you take 45% less damage damage from explosions and flame attacks, max rank of suppressor to reduce your target's damage output by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack, max rank of tenderizer to make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack, max rank of stabilize so that while in power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% of your target's armor, max rank of demolition experts that your explosives now deal plus 60% damage, rank 1 of born survivors that while falling below 20% health, you'll automatically use a stim pack once every 20 seconds, max rank of adrenaline to gain plus 10% max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill and honestly this card is perfect for seismic activity due to the amount of enemies that actually spawn in the area. Max rank of dodgy so that you avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Max rank of bloody mess for an additional 15% bonus damage. Max rank of one gun army so that heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. And also max rank of ricochet to gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies ranged damage. And for the legendary perk card which are going to help boost your stats, we have max rank of legendary luck, max rank of power armor reboot, so you have a 40% chance to auto revive at full health if you're downed in power armor, max rank of legendary strength, intelligence and agility, and also max rank of taking one for the team, so that enemies take 40% more damage when they attack you if you're on a team. The armor we're also going to be utilizing with this build is a full set of Overeaters T65 power armor, as the Overeaters effect will increase your damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. And if you'd like to pause the video here so you can check out each legendary effect on each piece, you can go ahead and do so. And lastly, for our chem buffs, we'll mainly be utilizing Psychotats to give us a 25% increase to damage for 3 minutes. Now that we've covered your special stats, perk cards and also armor for the build, let's go and test it out in some of the enemies that Appalachia has to offer. And with our first test subject today, which is of course going to be Swan the Behemoth, we'll go down and make sure and see how Swan is getting on today. But what we're going to do is real quick, I'm going to show you exactly what weapon I'm actually using. I'm using a bloodied primed goss minigun. Now, obviously, look, you can use any heavy gun that you want to. Obviously, you know, whatever your particular one is or whatever you're most comfortable with, you don't actually have to use the goss minigun gun i'm just mainly using this weapon because this is the exact weapon i was using in that video i would recommend because obviously that video will showcase the power of the build a little bit better but of course look we'll we'll test this out in some of the enemies different to the likes of the ultraside titan and mole miners and stuff like that but with the likes of the goss minigun and with any of the goss weapons the great thing about them is that they actually come with an inbuilt explosive effect 
so they actually have that built into the weapon so if you pop on the likes of the demolition expert perk card and obviously if you have that at max rank that will obviously increase the damage and as you can see there the mods we have on it is the pentabarrel we also have the prime capacitor we have the gunner sight, the gunner sight and then also as well it does come with the bloodied effect and as you can see there the damage that we're currently doing is 211 so let's go on over to swan and also as well before we uh start dealing some damage to swan let's take a psycho tats where's my psycho tats here somewhere there it is boom there we go we'll take a psycho tats and we'll go over and we'll uh pop in some uh some bullets and see how he's getting on today oh why why is my controller dragging why 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 is it dragging what's going on bethesda why why is it dragging oh there we go now <laughs> as you can see he went down that was so weird that was so weird i don't know what happened there it was like the uh aim assist was just uh refusing to actually like lock onto him it was like no no you're not locking onto him <laughs> but as you can see there he went down pretty quickly he wasn't uh wasn't any bother to us at all so yeah thank you swan thank you so much i don't know maybe uh was there something that you were was there some legendary effect that you were dealing with my aim assist there <laughs> i've never seen that one before but anyway let's hop on over to our next test subject which is gonna be the myler queen down in the cranberry bog so let's hop on over let's go now here we go we're down at the sunrise field let's take on some of these myler kings there we go that's one myler queen or king sorry that's him gone and also as well you know what we'll uh, we'll get the queen awake there so come on arise queen oh there you are there she is she's up now what is she level 100 she is indeed all right let's go let's uh, start doing some damage to her and as you can see there she is absolutely getting destroyed so there you go queen is gone and also as well we'll take some damage here come on come on my lurk hit me hit me hit me i know you're not really a good test subject for uh you know testing out damage usually there's another miler king around here somewhere but we'll, we'll we'll take some damage anyway come on any, any of you can take me down can you can, can you take me down no what about you what about you yeah you, you go on oh, oh you got a friend coming in here got some reinforcements all right what about all four of y'all at once come on come on you can do it come on take me down i can take it <laughs> I know these are probably not uh, great ideas or great examples. It'd be good to get maybe like, you know, a Myler King in here somewhere. Is there a Myler King? Usually there's another Myler King. There's usually two walking around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, in the uh, space of time that we've been talking here. And oh, we got a little bit of a server lag. In the space of time we've been talking here, we have, yeah, haven't really gone down. How are you guys doing today? You having a good one? You having, you having a good one? Oh, we, oh, oh, no, no, no. You backing off? No? Oh. <laughs> I mean, pretty much, look, you know, obviously in seismic activity, you're going up against mole miners, mole rats, and all this kind of stuff. These are pretty much going to be the uh, the amount of damage that you'll be uh, taking anyway from uh, seismic activity. But look, what we'll do is we'll put these uh, Mylurks out of their misery. They, 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 I think they've, they've had enough. So there we go. We'll put them out of their misery. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. Now, let's hop on down to our next test subject, which is going to be some Scorch Beasts. So let's do it top on over let's go and here we go for our final test subjects today which are going to be some scorched we're going to take on some of these here and also as well there you go fireproof kicking in from those uh scorch beast attacks we'll take out that scorch beast that's in the air there you go that's him gone and also as well i think we've got one more we do oh here we go we've got this one now what we'll try and do is we'll try and tank as much damage as we possibly can just to kind of prove it a little bit better because obviously against the likes of my lurks and stuff like that yes they're uh their damage isn't really that high but obviously a good comparison to the likes of mole miners and mole rats and all that good stuff but obviously look we'll we'll, we'll try and uh, showcase a little bit more tankiness here with uh with the likes of scorch beast as you can see there with the uh, screech attacks they do count as flame and explosion so that's what fireproof is mainly there for so as you can see there pretty much tanking that We'll take him on and then hopefully this scorch beast will land we'll try and just get it to land real quick we'll try and cripple it we'll try and not kill it we'll just try and get it to try and get it to land oh there we go tanking that uh, as well come on land buddy i don't want to kill you i <laughs> just i just want you to land come on there we go i think that might have uh i think that might have staggered it i think it should land now hopefully yeah there we go there we go come on now hopefully it'll land you're gonna you're gonna land for me here we go we'll get rid of him as well oh oh there's a little bit of server lag where'd he go oh here he is <laughs> now come on hit me hit me 
Hit me more. You know you want to hit me. And look at that. Just pretty much tanking that damage. Born Survivor obviously kicking in there as well. And obviously as well, Fireproof uh, helping out in a big way. Now, obviously, if your health does get depleted, Power Armor Reboot will kick in and will help you. And it will, obviously, if you're in Power Armor, it will help you revive. So it means you basically won't get killed. Uh, so definitely, you will be uh, pretty invulnerable. So there you go. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of him, get rid of you. And lastly, we'll get rid of you. So there you go. Alrighty, folks, I think we've pretty much proven the uh, the point with this build. And look, if you do like it and if you're a low health build and you like to use power armor, definitely consider checking it out. And yeah, definitely uh, consider checking it out for the likes of seismic activity. But uh, again, look, definitely make sure to check out that video. I'll make sure to link it in the description. And also as well, I'll link it at the end of the video. So definitely make sure to check that video out. So until then, folks, let's wrap this video up and let's hop on out of here. Let's do it. Let's go. And there you have it. The bloodied heavy gunner Titan killer build. Hopefully today's video helped you utilize this build a little bit better in the wasteland. And if you found today's video enjoyable, consider clicking that subscribe button for more Fallout content like this and so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. I want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers over here as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. For our Bethesda fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and would like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE121 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, consider checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, and other pineapple-related merch, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.